Hey everyone, welcome back to my Tis My Voice. For this episode, I want to talk about something that's really been bothering me right now that's been getting a lot of uh, uh, media attention in the autism community, and that involves the discussion of bleach. Now, there was a conference called Autism One where there was a scientist who believed bleach could possibly cure autism. From my experience with autism, hearing about different very random autism therapies over the years, I can tell you from experience that I don't believe in many of the therapies I hear anymore, especially new ones. More the the only one that I've only known for a few years now, which I actually truly believe in, is ABA therapy. Because ABA has been proven by scientists and professionals to actually work. Now, Growing up, I had speech therapy, I had occupational therapy, I had physical therapy, I had music therapy, I had a different assortment of therapies all combined together to get me to where I am today. Now, the Autism One Conference suggested that bleach could possibly help through MMS. And I want everyone watching today to really try to understand that we need to focus on therapies that are proven, and we also need to focus on therapies that have been proven by credible sources, that have been proven by scientists, and that have been proven by people who actually have a long history of being able to give us these credible sources. I didn't know what to think when I first heard about the entire bleach controversy story about the 20 uh, kids who were actually cured from the, the study that came out uh, through that, I didn't really know what to believe. But looking further, I saw all these different articles about the fact that no one is believing in <laughs> this type of therapy as anything accurate or anything close to being able to cure an individual. Let alone, I don't think we should necessarily be looking for a cure as much as we should be looking for different services, different... Um, for adults, adult services, um, employment, there are a lot of different issues. Sure, we could be looking for autism research for treatments and possibly a cure, but at the same time, let's try to stay away from ideas such as this. I, I know in our autism community, we don't have a cure. We, we are very, very unsure even what causes autism. I mean, there are different signs. Uh, people have debated it's environmental, genetics, et cetera, and so forth. But I think the main focus of what I want to explain in this video is that let's focus on our cre the credible people out there who are giving us research, who are the scientists, who are leading us towards progression. We're learning so many different things about autism every single day. And I mean, the, the research in regards to brain waves, I think, is a big thing that we're learning today. And those are from credible sources who are getting our diagnoses for individuals with autism even earlier. That's a credible source. This bleach story is not a credible source. So when you're listening to the media, when you're listening to all these stories, just remember that we need credible sources. We need credible sources that are backed up by a lot of different individuals. Not one person, I truly believe, can really have a credible source unless it's backed up by a community of people. And I think that's a big thing in our autism community that we need to understand. So I hope you guys feel the same way. I would love to hear your thoughts on the subject. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes.